You're watching EAC News. Thanks for joining us. And finally, artist Kunle Adewale is bringing virtual reality to old folks' homes in Nigeria, allowing the elderly to listen and watch some of their favorite musicians and music videos through VR headsets. At the elderly care home in Lagos, Nigeria, 77-year-old Onatolo Onajobi wears a virtual reality headset to watch music videos of some of his favorite musicians. Onajobi used to be a disc jockey in his heyday and says the VR unit has helped him connect with music more intimately than ever before. It looked as if I was watching Richard on stage. He gave me a feeling I can never forget. Onajobi is not enjoying the joyful experience alone. Fellow elderly care home client Moradeo Ajibade is also filled with joy and nostalgia after trying on the VR unit. I've never even seen this VR before, but this is my first time of using it. That's why I stood up and began dance. When the music entered my brain, it made my, it, it changed my swagger. Kunle Adewale is an artist who focuses on what he refers to as therapeutic art projects. The 40-year-old founded Tender Arts Nigeria in 2013, a non-profit social enterprise that has carried out initiatives in India, Nigeria, South Africa, and other African countries. After the death of his parents, Adewale decided to make helping seniors live the rest of their lives in happiness a priority. So the virtual reality stuff is more the gaming thing for, for the youth. But there's so much potential that you can offer in the place of health and improving their well-being and their health status as well. So that is why I started this. And beyond that, that's why I feel like um, the virtual reality can help seniors to really, in place of mental health and also in the place of brain health as well. Some of these elderly ones actually have dementia, which is known as memory loss as well. But what is important is that the virtual reality can help them to connect maybe with uh, a popular musician they grew up knowing or listening to. So relieving that moment, relieving that experience and finding expression, being able to dance and move their bodies in a way that it, it just makes them happy in that moment. And it's fine. It might be short, but it's important for them. While these VR experiences can't quite replace visits by family and short trips outside the home, Adawale's project is a safe way to put smiles on faces and get people dancing. Sometimes the seniors get to experience this uh, virtual reality and it seems that they can't get out of it. It's like they find it themselves in the world, in their own world. Uh, they stay longer, they, they want to stay there forever. Adewale and many others who operate in the VR space say use of the technology got a boost during the pandemic and the restrictions that have come with it. Adewale's Art in Medicine project also supports people living with sickle cell anemia. Oh. Uh, uh. <laughs>